Hello, it's Karen here um, with this month's theme which is to use a large photo and it's supposed to be more than A4 so I've had one printed up that is 8 inches by 12 so that's the one that I'm going to use on my page. I also have some stash from um, a range by Uniquely Creative and it's called Steampunk Safari and it comes with um, these cut apart sheets. There's also this sheet with um, little things that you can paint so I might paint or colour in a couple of those. There's this sheet with bits to fussy cut. Um, I'm going to use that as my backing and then also we have, um, I'm not sure I'm going to use these because there's, the photo won't fit on that one or that one. So those are some of the other pieces in the range. I also have these die cuts from the range which I will use too. So I'm just going to pop off and do a bit of colouring and a bit of fussy cutting and I'll be back to show you how I put my page together. So, see you in a moment. Okay, I have cut some pieces from the fussy cutting sheet and from the cut apart, so I've cut some tags and things. And what I think I'm going to do is trim this piece of paper down. I'm going to distress the edges of it, tear some pieces out so that I can tuck some bits in then I'll place my photo and decide what I'm going to do after that. So the first job is to cut half an inch off of one side and the bottom. I've decided that I'm going to use some Distress Ink around the edges to emphasise the grunginess of it. I'm going to cut the white border from my photo and trim it along here to remove that person there. I'm left with a photo that is about 10 inches by 8, so a little bit less than an A4. And if I put it over to one side, then I can work on here and here without the photo getting in the way. So the next thing to do is to add a DCF around the edges, but not under the torn pieces because I'm going to add some cut outs there. Actually I think I'm going to tear these to be a bit a bit deeper.
I'm not overly keen on the white edge so I can just give it a bit of a ink make sure it's less stark a bit more grungy need to use these die cuts and the bits that I've cut out to fill in the gap here and along the top and the side. I think I'm going to turn this corner over and stick it with a pop dot and stick some more uh, flowers and bits and pieces under there. Um, I bought these stickers from Amazon or eBay, I'm not sure, I think they were a pound a pack and I've got quite a long title so I'm going to use this space in my photograph to add my title. I will do that and then once I've got my title on I'll know what other space I've got to play about with. I've put some quite chunky foam pads on the back of my photograph and I'm going to pop that on and then um, anchor these ones, these little groups down with some more foam pads. I think the white edge on the die cut pieces is too white so I've inked it before I added it to my page.
So I have my title. I'm going to add a cluster up here and a couple of tags here and a couple of tags here. I'll use these chunky foam pads. I just need to trim the edges now and then that's my page finished. Here is my finished page for this month's challenge to use a large photograph. Um, I don't think it's quite A4 but it is about 10 by 8 so very very slightly less. I have my title on the photograph in the white space and then torn paper which I've kind of curled back a little bit as an afterthought because it seemed to be wanting to curl back and then my fussy cut clusters.